Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Steven. We're back with our good man, Matt. This beautiful Toyota. And we got Steven on the tools. Steven is the expert with transmissions and he does his 10 hours a day. So you're seeing the fluid flow. What do you think, Steve? A little dark, but looks good. Otherwise. Beautiful. Just changed it, uh, what, maybe less than 10,000 miles ago. Today, you're gonna see how to get your transmission to run and shift better than brand new. All right, Steve's on 10 millimeter and he's got his beautiful snap-on impact gun. And speaking of the devil, we gave one of these away in the channel before. And uh, if you're new to the channel, definitely uh, subscribe. You'll be able to come back and see the giveaways. We give all kinds of cool snap-on tools away. It means money because I can do things faster. Money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Steven's giving it a little tap -a And uh, now it's this beautiful kind of caressing and baby burping process. Gonna drop her down. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh yeah. App Absolutely beautiful. This is inside the pan, and those are our magnets that collects these little metallics. A little bit of wear material to be expected with the mileage on the truck, nothing uh, too concerning. Nice. No matter what you do, you're always going to have a little bit of wear. Awesome. As long as we don't see any big chunks or you can't tell the magnets are, are square. <laughs> Clean her up, get that gasket off, and then it's going to go into the day spa. Oh my god. Boy, is that hard to get that off. Holy cow. Oh, good thing we got you a fresh gasket, Matt. Yeah, Take see, a look. Well, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what they, they build them like that, right? I mean, you want to use... These are typically don't come off the dark. The day spa for your transpan. This is what we call, think of opening the pores of your puss right here. That's what we're doing. We're cleaning up that skin of the pan. Ah, there Steve is. He says this, the girlfriend that doesn't talk back. <laughs> All right, now Steven's yanking off the oil filter. And uh, what mil bolt is that? 10 millimeter as well. Um, they are a different length, different heads of the pan bolts. Totally different bolt. Perfect, got so, it. Make sure you separate your bolts when you take them out because if you put the wrong bolt in, you can strip it. This is like in a good scary movie, the killer always comes back to life. Shoot right here. Right now. You think it's all drained? And here yep, here we, right we go. Every good scary movie. And there she blows. No one what to look at will tell you everything on, on a transmission. I love it. Electronics and valves and doodads and witchcraft to make this thing work. <laughs> All right, we're going to be putting in the liquid cherry in a minute. If you're new to the channel, this is um, allows your transmission to shift faster than brand new, smoother, less vibration, less uh, wear because of the film strength. So this is actually 100% synthetic. A full synthetic can actually be called a full synthetic when it's only 25% synthetic. This here is 100% synthetic, double the severe service capabilities, and your transmission will last longer and run stronger. Right around here, they almost never come with one. And if you're <laughs> not careful when you take off the old filter, if you can see here, the O-ring's not there. Where yeah, is it? It's not there. Where is it, Steven? It's here, still stuck in the pickup. Oh my if God. If you're not careful and that falls out and you never see it, Oh you put gosh. your new filter on with no o-ring seal now you've got a massive air Gap. leak around here yep and your truck won't move or if it does you're going to burn it up real fast not something you want to put on with the uh, power tools if uh, you're not sure what you're doing because you can easily blow the threads right out It won't blast all the stuff off the magnet, so we got to take that out and do it by hand. Polaris. Drop the pan, change your filters. 
filter or filters depending on your application. You never know, you could always just drain the fluid out and it looks okay, but you got a magnet in there that's loaded up. With gobs of metallic. Got a problem. Beautiful. She's ready to go back on. This is only a quarter inch. Only a quarter inch, yeah, driver. What size wrench is that? Big, 24. 24. That's the fill hole right there. Steven's opening up a nice, fresh, virgin bottle of the automatic transmission fluid, AKA the liquid cherry. This is the 100% synthetic and that keeps the metal parts separated. Also increases your fuel mileage. You have less friction, less heat, less wear. And Steven's gonna go ahead and pour it into the pumper. That's the beautiful liquid cherry. Beautiful. And there goes the liquid cherry. It's going from the bottle up the hose, right inside the Prones Michion. I fill that all the way up until it overflows right out of here of that little teeny hole there. That's where it's gonna overflow from. I lube to love, love to lube. That's why I get up in the morning. Face while I'm looking at the there, there, it goes. there she I blows. I love it. That's how you know she's full. Look at that gorgeous liquid cherry. Work her up. Cap it. Beautiful, Steven. Oh my God, that's uh, yeah, but. What, what type of career were you doing at the time? I was over, I was uh, oil hauling. Wow. Yeah, oil hauler, crude oil hauler. Wow. West Texas. It's Unbelievable. About 248 pounds in that picture. Holy cow. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that's a yeah. little beard. Oh Before that, goodness. I was over the road truck driving. Mm -hmm. So it was so good. The question is, these two can do something I could never do. Have you guys ever done mustache rides before? <laughs> a gentleman never tells, Steven. Come on. You're a gentleman? Uh, I, I try to be. I you, try Steven? To be. I don't ride mustaches, but... <laughs> <laughs> you get Matt's driving impressions and see what he thinks. Well, we're going about 60. That's good. Yeah, it's running. It's running. Running great. It's running wow. great. Wow. Running like new. Wow. Now we got to check to see how the four wheel drive feels. Operates. Oh, it's it's running amazing. Running real nice. Um, pretty much brand new. In fact, like straight off the factory floor. Um, it's shifting like butter, man. It just goes in and out of gear like nothing. You gotta watch out, you gotta keep yourself protected and informed. You know? That's, I love it. I love that's it. why they gotta, you gotta get more people like Eben out there. You know? I love it. So if you ever wanna try the products, you'll see all the links down below. When you use those links, that would attach me to you. I can answer all your questions about improving the performance and lifespan of all your vehicles by choosing all the right lube. Check out everything we did the Matt's truck. It's right here in the center. Check out that video there. It's gonna get your toes wet 
and we'll see you back next time right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to keeping your vehicles wet, lubed, and protected. Cheers. Cheers. We'll see you back on the next Salute. one.